my nephews and my niece, they, they, they would kill me if I, didn't, if I hadn't appeared in this concert, you know, because they've never ever forgiven me because they just love it and they just watch it all the time, you know. Mark, I, I, I'm really excited uh, uh, to be chatting with you today um, about uh, Soft Cell's involvement with uh, Live from the Upside Down, the, the yeah, Doritos so cool. Music Fest. Really, really cool. Uh, I've had a chance to talk to talk to the Go Go's and to talk to to Corey. Uh, yeah, I'd love yeah. to ask you uh, about your experience filming that concert event and what that was like. Well, it was just, just amazing. It was kind of something very different and very new, very exciting for me. And thanks to Netflix and Doritos for making it happen, which was which was great. I mean, I, I played all over the world, but never out of the world before. So this is a kind of a new experience, out of the world, out of this world experience for me in the Upside Down room was fantastic. What What was the set like when you were kind of there and performing? I think it was amazing, kind of like I think a strange kind of forest. I think there was a, a it was it was, um, it was very exciting. The whole thing was very kind of exciting, and I mean uh, this strange dead forest or something was it was it was amazing place. It feels like it, it feels like such a perfect like setting for soft cell. You know, you got Stranger Things, it's this nostalgic sort of series, and and there's all this like wild sci-fi adventure and whatnot. It just kind of seems like something like tailor made for you. <laughs> I think it was, you know, and I really love all the kind of references um, in the show as well. It's all things that I've kind of grown up with and everything, so I kind of get it all, and I like the kind of in, I can recognize all the all the references. And you know, I have to say that that my um the, 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 my nephews and my niece, they, they, they would kill me if I didn't if I hadn't appeared in this concert, you know, because they've never ever forgiven me because they just love it and they just watch it all the time, you know. And it, and it, it, it and it's a great, great show, you know. Sit there, enjoy it with a bag of Doritos and have a good time. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You gotta have a bag of Doritos but while you watch it. Flavor, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so so what is your what is your favorite flavor mark what, what do you what's your favorite flavor of Doritos well, well I kind of like I kind of like all different um um I kind of like all the kind of flavors I mean I can't pick a favorite because they're, they're kind of they're such, huh? they're rich. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of flavors here I'm trying to think of flavors but I'm looking <laughs> forward to trying the new three cheese one because I, I really like cheese so I'm gonna looking forward to that I am also really looking forward to that one. I'll tell you, I, I, I went to the store looking for them and they weren't out yet. And I was like, I am going to come back every day. But the originals, you are always the, the originals for me are always the best. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mark, I want to ask me, I mean, soft sell, you guys have, have been around for, for four decades now. You were yeah. groundbreaking when it came to the, to the electronic music scene and synth pop and all that. What has it been like for you to watch that scene and that genre evolve over the years, having been, you know, someone who broke yeah. ground on it? It's been, it's been kind of incredible, really, because it's been an amazing journey. As you say, 40 years I've been making music now since 42, I think, since Soft Cell first formed in the late 70s, even. You know, we did, we made fame in the 80s. So it was, um, it, it's been just a wonderful thing to see all the influences that we've had on people, how we've inspired people. And, you know, we've come a, a, a long way. And now, finally, here we are in Stranger Things, which is absolutely fantastic for us. And it's it's great, you know, it's it's a great thing that um, kind of gives some, some good profile for us for our, for our tour and everything in America, which is fantastic. Yes, I was going to say, I, I read uh, that that you guys are going to be coming to, to the States to do uh, one final run of, of, yeah. of nonstop erotic cabaret. Uh, yes. You're going you're gonna to perform the, the album in its entirety in a handful of, of, uh, of locations. Uh, what kind of led to that decision? Like, we're going to do it, but we're doing it just this one last time. <laughs> I, I, I think we, we did it um, last year in, um, in, in in London. It was such a great success. And of course, after the past two years, you know, to get back on stage again was a great thing and a great, great feel-good thing for the fans. All about feel-good. We, we've got a new album out this year, which is probably going to go top 10 this week. So, you know, happiness not included. So we'll be, we're going to be doing songs from that. And the whole of Nonstop Erotic Cabaret in its entirety you know, in order. So 20 years since you've been in the States. So I think grab your bag of Doritos and come along and see Soft Cell, non-stop erotic cabaret, three cheese flavor. You couldn't have a better night out than that. Hop on down for real. And, and I exactly. wanted to bring up, 
I wanted to mention Happiness Not Included because that album just came out like this month, uh, just days ago, I think, from, from when we're talking. And, and it is fantastic. And, and like you said, you're already climbing the top 10 charts. Um, would love to little, know a little bit about the background of that album and kind of the creation of it. Well, we recorded it during the last two years, you know, with all this thing we've all been going through all over the world. And um, so we, we, I wrote it there and recorded it then over distances, you know, and it was the first thing that De- the album that Dave and I had done in 17, you know, 20 years, a, yeah. a long time. So it's really exciting for us. And, um, you know, we've just done a, a track with the Pet Shop Boys on the album as well. So the two of us coming together, two of the, the most um, influential UK 80s electro duo with the UK's most successful 80s electric electric duo coming together on a record um and you know and i think it's all about feel good having a good time giving people a good time and i think that's something that stranger things does as a program you, you can really kind of get into it and enjoy it and have have a lot of fun and you can recognize the kind of the uh, the references and the, and the nods to references in the show which i really love yeah, no, I, I agree with you and, and uh, about that. And one of the songs on the album, that Nostalgia Machine, I was listening to it and I was like, man, this song is so perfect for this whole setting, the show and, and all of this. I think it fits in really well. Yeah, I think it, I think it, it does fit in really well. I think people will enjoy the show when they can be it's real visual uh, um, uh, as, as well. So, you know, I, I think it's, it's going to be a good show for people to, 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 to um, come to as well. And I think that in conjunction with having the, the Stranger Things at the same time, you know, the, uh, the fourth se- um, the season of Stranger Things, I think it's all I mean, going to be a great sci-fi time, I think, to happen in, um, in October. There's lots of sci-fi nods on the album as well. So... I think if you love sci-fi, then um, October is going to, you know, is is, um, August for the Stranger Things and October for us. You can have a sci-fi. Oh, oh, it's August for us. Sorry. (laughs) August for us. I'm sorry. I've got my. I'd forgotten too. (laughs) You're going to get ready for a a sci-fi or a a sci-fi summer. (laughs) I, yeah, you know what? I am pumped. I, tell, you know ready. I, mean, I, got, I got locked up for the past two years, like we all did. And now I've got all my months and times mixed up. I fully relate. No <laughs> judgment whatsoever. It's been like that for everybody. Um, yeah. um, Mark, yeah. I, I'm, I'm grateful to you for taking time to chat today. I'm very excited about it's the been lovely to talk to you too. <laughs> and, and, and that's, that's, uh, July, and no, I'm sorry, June 23rd is the concert, is when the concert will debut. Yeah. And, and fans can go to doritos.com uh, slash stranger things to get more information. And they can check out your social media and, and soft sales website to get tour dates and, and to get access to happiness not included, all that good stuff. Exactly. And come and see and come and see the concert live. At, well, live from the up at the upside down room, beam from another universe. We will be there. On, you know, so, so please get your Doritos, get your kind of ticket and come and see us. <laughs>